And tonight, the city is hoping to show efforts to make it safe with the downtown block party. News 4 Gabriela Vidal live there now for us. Gabby, how is it? It's actually quickly becoming one of the places to be in the downtown area with food, music, and activities for all ages. And I'll step to the side so you can see the people that are trickling in tonight for this block party, the second annual one. Not just a way to bring vibrancy along Washington, but also tamper some of the stigma and concerns regarding safety downtown. Both organizers with Greater St. Louis Inc. and police say that there is and will continue to be police presence throughout this event and after it wraps up at 9 p.m. But we are learning today, like you said, said concerns over safety have affected other events from wanting to return to the downtown area with uh, Greater St. Louis Inc. confirming with me earlier today that one of the largest annual trade shows, Dot Foods, that takes place at America Center each year will not be returning in 2024 and 2025, citing safety concerns. Uh, News 4 did reach out to Explore St. Louis, which operates the America Center for comment, but have not heard back. Despite this, residents here downtown are still boasting about events like this block party as a way to prove the downtown courier can be safe and welcoming for all. I think it's good for St. Louis. Um, I see block parties a lot, places like South City. I was happy to see something downtown for once. You know, COVID kind of wiped out a lot of businesses, a lot of the energy that was once downtown. So kind of being able to have this event um, really brought back the energy downtown. And that trade show that we mentioned still supposed to take place next week, June 13th through the 15th with plans to work with the city on any safety concerns ahead of that event. But as far as this event here in the downtown block party area, there's still time to make it out here tonight between now and 9 p.m. Plenty of food, music and things to do and also being able to trickle into some of the businesses afterwards to continue to enjoy the night. Reporting live downtown, Gabriella Vidal, News 4. Should be a pretty good time out there, Gabby. Thank you.